We made a couple of runs and we're clicking right along. You know, I can't believe we ain't had no major catastrophes. Hush, the only jinx. I know I'm the superstitious one. Oh Lord, I spoke too soon. <laughs> it is the one, the only killer bees. Blaine is genius, senor. <laughs> well, you need, we're busier than a sick cat. I have an order for you guys. I need 100 gallons of aged corn liquor. We ain't got none. Yeah, we, we don't got none. Well, what about those barrels that are upstairs? I love the look of that. Gentlemen, thing. Kind of like yeah. cart with our baby. You know, we told you when we gave you that five gallons earlier that they wouldn't be no more of that. That's our that's our that's all there is. That's our retirement liquor. It yeah. ain't for sale. Well, here's the situation. These cats are out on tour. I don't need it right now. Hey, let me ask you something. Yeah, it, it's not available right now and it ain't corn liquor, but it's got corn in it. It's it's a three grain blend. Tennessee whiskey. This is Mark and Digger aged Tennessee whiskey. And do you have that? Well, let me let me work on something. We have the Mark and Digger Tennessee whiskey, but it's not five weeks old yet, let alone five years. I have no idea what Digger's thinking. This is lunacy. I got a couple of things I got to check into to make sure I can make this happen. If I can get it in play, it'll be in their hands in five to six months. Give me a ballpark figure on price. $225 a gallon, Beeves. I'll have you 100 gallons. All right, I'll talk to you next week, man. All right, see you, bye. You just promised two barrels of five-year-old liquor. You ain't got nothing. You've lost your ever-loving mind. I've got an idea it may come to fruition. I'm gonna tell you something. Sometimes you let your mouth write checks that your can't cash. Mark thinks I'm off my damn rocker, but this is a proven thing with, with experts way beyond us. I got this, it'll be fine. All right, genius, what's the plan? Tell me, do, please. Sea aging. Sea aging? What the hell? Putting it on a boat in that salty environment, bouncing around, temperature changing, barometric pressure changing, one month's equivalent to one year. You can put liquor in a barrel, put it on a ship, let it float around for a while, and one month gives the equivalent that a year would in a barrel house. It gives it the characteristics of liquor that's way older than what it is. When you think about it, within a couple of hundred miles on the ocean, the temperature changes, it's constantly moving, the barometric pressure is constantly moving. They've been doing this since the 1700s. They do it for cognac, rum, now we're gonna do it Tennessee whiskey. How'd you get so damn smart on, on sea aging? While you're, while you're polishing on all them old hot rods and everything, driving around, making sure the battery's charged up, I'm reading. Right. I read. If you'd look on the internet, you'd see. I don't do the internet. You know that. Well, you're going to start. We just put liquor in the damn truck and drive to the ocean? Yeah, I know a guy's got a boat. It's a shrimp boat. I right. buy shrimp off of him every time I go over there. We're in Tennessee. Yeah, I'm, I'm smart enough to realize that, but the ocean's that way. We can get there. If I didn't think I could produce it, I damn sure wouldn't obligate to 100 gallons of it. I thought he's done crazy stuff before. I think this is crazy, but very slowly, it's beginning to make sense. Six months, hell, we gotta make another trip to come back and fetch it. Yeah, but it'll be warm weather then. I can take you out fishing. No, I ain't getting on no boat. Why? I don't trust the ocean. We ain't going on the ocean, we'll do backwater. Yeah, I don't know about that. There's still critters in it. Just for the record, Mark Wayne Ramsey does not swim. There's too many things out there that will eat your I bet Ooh. there's an alligator in there. Got a mighty, I ain't wanting no alligator business here. No, alligator's only good for one thing, that's to make a wallet or shoes out of it. All right, well, let's go find Shorty. Captain Shorty? There he is. You Shorty? Yes, sir. So this is going to be the boat that we're going to be using right here. Oh, I thought it was going to be that little bitty. I mean, we could try that one, but I don't think it's going to hold those barrels. <laughs> get that winch down, get that rope down here. What's under here? Can I back this truck up on here? No, sir, not unless you want to go swimming. <laughs> There's a lot of water under yeah, there. Oh, yeah, I can see it now. Yeah, hell, we'd have our liquor and truck and everything be in the water. It's obvious now that this isn't going to be as easy as I thought it was. We have to get the barrels closer to the boat. How about that? I reckon you can keep track of them for a month or two or five or six? Oh, I ain't gonna don't lose them. them. Huh? I ain't gonna lose them, that's for sure. I smell a little liquor, don't you? I do. 
I know we're supposed to smell liquor, but it smells a little bit strong to me, Puss. Let that tailgate down. We can get up in there and rook it over. It's not out of the ordinary to smell a little liquor. There's 100 gallons of it in these barrels, but I smell a powerful smell of liquor, and, uh, you know, there, there's obviously a leak somewhere. Well, hell, here's your problem. When we've been moving these around, we've tore that plastic bung. These are plastic bungs they replaced in the old wood bungs. It snagged on a nail or something. We were rolling off that pallet, and it tore that bung. Is that liquor all over that barrel? Smell of your hands, our puss. You see. smell of it. Tell me, I can smell it right here. Yeah, we've lost liquor. As much as five gallons has possibly sloshed out on the trip up here. We gotta come up some cram in that bung hole so it don't leak liquor all over your boat. Let's get this one out of here. Let's practice on this one for the time being. It's down. We get the picnic table, turn it long ways. We can roll the barrels right off on it and then get closer to that boat. She got some weight to her, don't she? All right, fellas. Ow. Whoa! Have we broke that bung? Not as bad as you think. <laughs> Thank the Lord it didn't hit hard enough. We're not leaking, but it ain't in the boat yet. Now nah, we're almost there. Whoa. We got her. Before we do this next one, we got to fix this bung. Fellas, you think that's going to work? That's how we get down. Fid takes looks a lot like of Looks like a, one of them prehistoric petrified sperm out of a dinosaur. We'll see if it'll. Oh, Boom. Look at that. Lord. Yeah, we, we can't, can't roll, roll it, it now. We had to well, take it, take that and out of that bung and swap this and out over there. Your oh, education was worth hurry. every Good penny. Lord, hurry, I'm, all the curls coming out of my hair in this rain. It's a fid, something that's used to repair nets. Put that we down there. But it is the perfect thing that we need to fix our bung. And this one's gonna drop too. <laughs> Bam! Uh. Get in there and get it, Eddie. That's, That's gonna right. knock you overboard. It's all right. I didn't need that knee anyway. We've done something that we've never ever done before in our life: is uh, hauled a hundred gallons of whiskey to the coast and put it on a shrimp boat. Damn. It's on our puss. All right, fellas, you all squared away. You know, it's kind of melancholy. We sit here and you know we've got the barrels on the boat. You know, we're just sitting there waving like parents watching their children going off to war. I don't remember having an any better end to a season in recent history. This this just been outstanding. If this sea agent goes the way we want it to, we're bound to have some of the finest Mark and Diggers Tennessee whiskey you've ever seen in your life. Now if we can just get some heavyweights to come get it off. Well, that's six months down the road. We may be dead. <laughs>